Hello, this is Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working with this Today is a Good Day um, 12 month calendar from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the pic images in the back. Um, instead of using making them into magnets, I'm going to be making them into keychains. And I'm going to be using the 2x2 two two pieces of wood that BB Craft sent me. I'll leave that link down below. And you could also use the um, three Jenga blocks glued together. You just have a chunkier keychain. So here I am cutting the images off and then we'll go on to the next step. To accessorize the keychains, I have these little mini tassels that I got off of Amazon. If I can find them, I'll link them down below. But I'm going to be using two different types of keychains. The, um, I don't know, the ones that you use for lanyards and then the regular um, key ring. To adhere the images to the pieces of wood, I'm using the iron-on method with using Mod Podge, and that's um, adding Mod Podge to all these um, pieces of wood, like I said, and letting it dry, and then adding the image on top, and then putting some Teflon paper on, t or Teflon sheet on top, and um, using my mini iron to adhere the images to the wood, and it gives you a nice, clean, crisp, no wrinkle um, image. This is a quick and simple um, DIY that you can use with any of the calendars that you get at Dollar Tree or anywhere else as, as, as long as you match the, the, the wood that you're adhering to it to the same size as, as the little image. So you can do a lot of with these little images. If you're liking this content please give it a thumbs up share with your friends if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing and um, what image will you use for your keychain P place it in the comments below once the mod podge is dry we're going to now glue mm, iron on the images to the top and don't do what I almost did I almost <laughs> ironed on my, my craft mat and that will warp your mat so I'm pulling out my quilting um, board here so I can iron those pieces on. I didn't add too many embellishments to these because since they're going to be keychains, they're going to be, you know, rolling around in your purse or on your key, key ring. 
and um, if you add too many f like um, like flowers or buttons, uh, eventually they'll pop right off. So I just left them plain. Except for the back, uh, I'll show you um, what I did in the back in a few minutes. So here's my Teflon sheet, and I'm just adding the little iron onto the Teflon sheet to make to heat up the glue to adhere the image to the piece of wood. I'm adding this key fob hardware to the um, pieces of wood and using my pliers to squeeze it closed. It's going to be a little uh, tough on the back side because you have to put the little prongs into the wood but the wood is pretty soft so it wasn't too, too bad. So I added the um, keychain part to it, the ring, the little tassel and the little lobster clasp. And then the other ones I just used the key ring and I use my crocodile to make the hole for the key ring on the other ones. Before adding the key rings, I painted the backs of these little pieces of wood so I can add some um, decorations to the back. Like I said, it's not de decorations, it's, I'm using the rub on transfers from Dollar Tree and I'm just picking some and you know matching it to more or less to the front of, of the image that I have. And then once that's um, applied, I add some more Mod Podge on top of that to keep it um, safe and secure from moisture. You can easily use your Cricut and add an initial in the back or you can even mud podge a, pi a picture of, of, of a family member on the back of these two. So you can do a lot with these little keychains. So right now I'm doing the, the layer of my parts to protect this side of the keychain. I also do it on the paper side so that way the both sides are um, protected. And I'm using these shell rub on transfers and, and I'm just adding a little image on the back so you don't have to add words you can um, use any of, of the Dollar Tree rub on tra transfers to, to add to the back of these or you can even draw something yourself so a little piece of artwork for your friends Stay to the end for some close-ups of a few of the keychains. And until next time, be brave, be strong, and create some keychains. <laughs>